Hello everyone, welcome back from Top of the Wall. My name is Mason Knopp, and this is 30 Days of Lands, the 30th day. And what progress have we made? <laughs> We've gone from Golgari to uh to Rainbow, actually. <laughs> that's that's the change. Turns out when you play lands for 30 days, your natural evolution looks a bit like this. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's it this is it uh 30 days of lands this is what i came up with it actually ended up looking like this which is a bit better uh actually wait a minute let me see if there's a a much a, a little bit earlier list actually uh this is close to the beginning i unfortunately don't have the earlier list i i actually left it I actually had it a little bit different than this, but it was, it's mostly the same. Um, this is pretty much where we started for the most part. The <laughs> you'll, you'll notice that this list is not that much better. Uh, it's not that much worse than uh, Rainbow Lands over here, which has a lot of the similar cards. It's just doing a much more controlling version of that and has a lot more bounce lands and a lot more colors. Um, we are playing the Prophetic Prisms because I did find it hard to get some of our colors sometimes when we're in Rainbow, and I felt like this is a necessity until we have at least a faster multiple color land mana base or something. I just needed something else. Uh, we had a, a new card or two come in with Fire Cannonades and the Fall from Favors. I feel like the Fire Cannonades are just incredibly necessary for this kind of deck because we're playing such a late game. We're planning to cast a 7 mana spell. And a bunch of four mana spells. Time, so these fiery cannonades are actually necessary to allow us to get into the late game, which is unfortunate uh, that it's absolutely necessary, but also super sweet that we have a wrath spell in our main deck because wrath spells are awesome. Super happy about that. Um, there's still a few cards that I wish I had tried, but we can we can try 30, 30 days of lands again another time. Uh, maybe when I'm working less and can guarantee it'll be done in 30 days. Sorry about being two day, a uh, day late to finish. This is the day after, and this is the, this is the last day. Uh, anyway, all of the decks that have been in this series are listed under 30 days of lands playlist. And they all have deck lists, uh, attached to the video. So if you missed anything or you want to see a very specific deck, they're all listed there on a scryfall uh deck list that you can easily just look up and check out the cards download the deck list if you want uh make your own copy if you have an account with them it's like a couple dollars uh i can't remember how much i think they might have like 15 dollars for like a lifetime subscription or whatever and be a supporter and, and whatnot it's it's a nice website and i would i would support it if you get any use out of it so we'll get into a game uh the last changes that we made to the deck were i added a cast down and a fall from favor i cut one typhon uh, and I swapped out one other card. What was it? Um, oh, yeah. I added a Boreal Grazer. I moved the Rain Shaper to the side. Those are the changes. Oh, yeah. And I cut the Abraid. I wasn't getting a whole lot of use out of the Abraid in a lot of matchups. So the Abraid was sometimes dead, which kind of sucked. <laughs> having a dead Abraid just sitting there. So no, no more Abraid. We don't want it. I would rather just have another cast down. Because cast down does seem a little bit more flexible when choosing creatures. A lot of times we don't care too much about the artifacts. Um, in Bonders ornament matchups, yeah, they're important, but it, I think it's more important to uh, to just like try to win the game rather than stop your opponent from winning the game. Uh, and a lot of matchups aren't playing Bonders ornament as much as they are focused on the monarchy right now, so that'll be fine. Uh, and the ring caller was better in the control matchups anyway, so I prefer. To, and really good in the late game, so it's better to just have that floating in the side. We have a matchup, and we have the right deck selected, I believe. So, Brook94. Yeah, it's Brook. And uh, what is your avatar? Is that the avatar of... Oh, uh, Corona. The false God. Oh, yeah, uh, Temple of the False God. That's her temple. I'll keep this only because I am certain 
that this is rainbow that this is rainbow lands i was good luck have fun um i'm gonna remove this stuff on my upkeep we'll play desert we'll pass the turn i'll play cave i mean i'll play a uh, prophetic prism so this is scred or demir fairies or Blue white flicker. It's most likely scred fairies. I'm gonna get no, no. Scred fairies has, has fallen a bit. Um, so I'm just not gonna guess scred fairies. Demir fairies has gained gain in popularity recently. So mmm, crop rotation is here. Yummy. I like that. <laughs> non land cards. That's what I love. In my land stack. <laughs> Frantic inventory. Uh, this is looking more like Scred Fairies. Yeah, this is looking like Scred Fairies. I will crop rotation this desert and Bajuka Bog that Frantic inventory to deny them some cards. Ooh. We have one blue mana up. Is it a four spike? Boy, do I want to find out. <laughs> Apparently, I really want to find out. Let's go for it. Here's my Typhon. Don't you dare. <laughs> There's just no way. Okay, we're good. <laughs> They're short on lands. This is great. And I revealed the Cave of Temptation instead of this desert again. Okay, that was bad. Now they know what a card in my hand is. I didn't want that. Is this snap? Desert. We'll attack. Are they going to snap? Does thou snap? No snap. I'm gonna do it. Actually, wait. I'm gonna let them draw this card. And then I'm going to frantic inventory now. I'll get both of them. Sacrifice this. Get myself a bog. Always yield to bog. Oh no, I should have saved targets just in case. Ah, whatever. Okay, they're short on lands, it looks like, again. So, prepare for some cantrips. Or not. <laughs> I guess not. Oh, no! Damn it all! <laughs> Damn it! Oh, man. What have I done? Oh, I could have saved that crop rotation. I could have done better but I didn't I didn't do better oh that sucks put you to the bottom I don't need you right now you discard counterspell okay because you don't need it um I think we just play Gogori bot farm pick up the bog pass the turn four lands in hand they know about one of them. They know about one of them. Damn. Augur Volas. Oh boy, do I hate you. I hate you so much. Scred. Good. You're finding stuff. That's great. Just do it. <laughs> I screwed myself. Damn. Cast down. Okay, that's that's good. Uh, that's that's nice. We can. Chainers heal. 
How do you feel? They feel fine about it, apparently. We can go Gory Rot Farm. Pick up this land. I think that that is fine. Um, to pick up the desert. Oh, you know what? I just realized I might be screwing myself. They might have a spell stutter sprite. Mm. If they flash in spell stutter sprite at their end step. Oh, they don't. Okay, they don't. They don't. It's good. It's all good. Preordain. We'll stop on my upkeep. Cycle Ash Barons. There's Scred. Keep you on top. Move this stop. Exclude. Okay, exclude is a card that they had. Um, they have four snow permanents. Damn. Um, I hate that. I hate that a lot. Put you to bottom. God, they just scare teller this. Yikes. Um, we go ahead and just play a another desert. Pass the turn. Yeah. At this point, I'm wondering if I just passed on my own voracious Typhon. Augur Volos. Alright, sure. Maybe they tap the red source at some point, please. Stream of thought. Feel oh, this is not fairies. This is something else. This is Jess Guy Control, maybe. This is maybe they might have Muldrifter and Ephemerate in here. That is something to be considered. I will cr uh chain Reseed it again. What does thou play? Stream of thought. Okay. Cast down, cast down. Faith is looting. Okay, that's that's not bad. Stream of thought. Again. Sure. Oh, Jesus. My fall from favor. Damn it. My way of getting out of this. Damn you, sir. Um, I might cast down this creature so I can... Uh, make it big again. Wait, is Underworld Rage Hound in here? Nope. Go ahead and cast that down. Should have done this a minute ago. Crop rotation would be great. Chainers, um... God, they're just gonna mill me, right? That's a big plan. This auger doesn't matter that much. Uh, I should have bought him. Bonner's ornament. That is, that is something that I do want. Uh, I think we go for Voracious Typhon. Or, they're tapped out right now. We could just go for a Bonner's ornament. Go for bonders. They probably only have two stream of thoughts. Um, we'll bog. Bog you. Uh, play scare killer. Ask you for a scred. They likely aren't playing Bog, so it's not too bad. Uh, one desert's in the yard. Sure.
I was just trying to line up uh, a, a easier Typhon without potential loss of it later. Brainstorm. All right, sure. Tap one more blue, please. Just tap one more blue. Yeah, that's done with me. I should have played uh, Scare Tiller first and then went for it. Counterspell. Ah, oh, Jesus. Well, Faith is looting first. We have enough to do this. Keep that on top. Sure. Faith is looting. Did that tempt you at all? Just a little? Maybe? Underworld Rage Hound. That's good. I, I like that. We'll get rid of... If one cave of temptation in the yard, I would prefer that on the battlefield, but whatever. Get rid of this. Get rid of the desert. Uh, I don't think I have enough mana. We'll get rid of the crawl turf. Play this. Rage Hound. All right. Uh, I think we're not in the worst position. If they attack with an auger, I will kill it. I might... Okay, they don't... <laughs> Do you scred? Uh, I think I might cast down my own <laughs> I'm tempted to cast down my own Underworld Rage Hound um, so I can get it back. Let's see, I have enough for both. I think I will. Fall from Favor does nothing. I'll start with casting the Underworld Rage Hound. Fiery Cannonade. Eh, not, not great here. Gonna be honest, not a big fan. Uh, we'll get rid of one cast down, another cast down. Uh, crop rotation. How's this? Uh, Lenore Scout, Cast Down, Fall From Favor, Bonders Ornament. How's this? Okay, there's the Counterspell. No, it's Exclude. Alright. They have a Counterspell in hand. I believe they already used that other stream of thought. So they have one Counterspell, sure. All right, um, I can eat all three of these with the Typhon. Oh, okay. Um, fire candidate. We'll go ahead and get in for an attack.
Go ahead. Sure. Um, Typhon might be nice. Uh, no, they're holding counter spell. I would rather try to bait that out of their hand or something. Carver the Campman is nice. How's this? Do you like? They don't, they they seem it's fine. Alright, and then I have a enough mana to scry and draw with Bonner's ornament. I'll have you know, I have open mana. Uh we could put this on top. Yeah, I think I'm fine with actually drawing this. Press six. Still bothers to ask me about the mana. I'm like, no, I don't care. The slow rolling slow slow rolling one counter spell. We'll get in front attack. They got one scred. Uh, I think I'm willing to fight over it. Do I fight over it? Um, it's not that important of a creature to me, but I'm running low on cards in my yard. I think I am. Oh wait, but I don't have any cards that I really want to sacrifice. Um, okay. All right. Um, do love that one stupid counter spell just floating there, waiting for my Typhon. Play bo another Bonders ornament. Draw triple the cards. There's a counter spell. Uh, one cave and that. I have crop rotation up still. Oh my god, second counter spell. All right, they got me. Right. Leave on top. Uh, I'm going to exile their yard. Uh, there's a stream of thought in there. Okay. Pick up Bajuka Bog. Underworld Rage Hound. Uh, what I get rid of? The Desert. The Grawl Turf. Uh, the Survivor's Encampment is nice in a control deck on occasion. I would love to be able to get that back, but I don't think that I can. I need to exile one more. Uh, cave? Underworld Rage Hound. Sticks. Cry. Put on the bottom.
On to defend graph. Okay, cool. Upkeep. Uh, I'll draw normally. Will Bajookabog. Get rid of that. They likely have a card for this, and I should have waited, but oops. Start getting in. I'm wondering if they play the third stream of thought. So far, this bog has gotten me a lot of value. I feel. Desert, right. Um, I could have crop rotation there, but uh, I believe it's fine. I think we'll just go for a Bonders ornament. Now, see if there's any sorcery that we might be able to cast. Oh, no, that's not a good card. <laughs> that's not a good card at all. Uh... I should have scryed. Punishment for the scrying. Frantic inventory. Okay, cool. Okay, they're not playing any mall drifters. This is um I think Reap and So might be nice on top. That on top. Okay. It's fine. Upkeep draw. We'll go for a reap and sow. See how it see how it goes over. It might go over well. You don't know. Nope. Uh, the last counter spell. Okay, Rage Typhon can act, exile uh, Scare Tiller. Uh, you know, Chainer's Edict. Uh, I realize their creatures don't matter that much. Uh, Reap and Sow. Scare Tiller. Uh, I might I might go ahead and get rid of everything but the unearth but the escape creatures. Yeah, that'll be fine. We'll go ahead and go for that. I'll get rid of the Rage Hound, actually. Typhon. They're out of counter spells. A couple excludes are gone. Oh no, they have the exclude. <sighs> I was hoping not. Oh no, they shuffled that one back in, I see. I forgot. Um, here, I thought I exiled it. Will Haunted Fengraph. Get back, hopefully, Scare Tiller. I'm going to pass turn to conserve time a bit. All right. <laughs> I think that they're getting nervous because they ran out of win conditions. Oh, another Reap and Sow. Okay. I don't see any creatures in my future. 
coming to ruin my day. So destroy a desert. Actually, wait, cancel. Destroy the mountain. <laughs> oh, no, wait. Ah, Jesus. Cancel. Hold on. I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. I have to tap like this. Yeah, why don't I read my card better? I keep forgetting about the entwine because it doesn't show the entwine. And normally the reminder is the card. <laughs> the card will tell you whether you're doing it wrong. Uh, okay. Haunted Fengraph. Out of scrads, right? No, they have two left in the deck. Yikes. Another exclude. I right. all right. Got me. I'm going to my second main pass the turn we'll we'll probably crop rotation get a Gralter, pick up the bog um then exile some cards with bog i think we can actually just press six here how many they have no auger boluses in here both augers are in here, right? So that that means they don't really have any other way of winning. Get crop rotation. Sacrifice. Colony Heart Garden. No, no, no. Okay. Uh, we'll bog you. Royal Grazer. Put a step into play. Uh, get this pro red, I suppose, until end of turn. Their exile list is huge. Um, Braces Typhon might help. There's only a few things that I actually want to exile, though. Yeah, we'll, we'll just pass the turn. I'm pretty sure we just win by letting them draw out. Because I don't think that they have any way to stop it. Oh no, is this the huge stream of thought? How many are they playing? How many times did they replicate? Three times. All right, for 16. Uh, GG. Oh, they're playing three stream of thoughts. Hold on. I die on my terms. I have to get sideboarding. Dang, they they were holding holding that back. Damn. Uh Pyroblast. This, uh, the fire cannonades don't do much. They don't have creatures that we care about. So we'll cut this. Uh, this looks good. 
They weren't playing any Bonders tournaments, right? They played zero Bonders tournaments. So, Return to Nature doesn't seem very great. Um, I don't think that, they, that really does anything. Will this Storm doesn't do much. I think the Chainers are the things that we care very little about. Um, I think we'll need them very little. There's a small chance that this Return to Nature might come in hand against their Fall from Favors. I'd rather have that than one of these cast downs. I'll, I'll let a, another Chainers over a cast down. I think I'm fine with indiscriminately killing the creatures since they're all the same. Their whole two or maybe three Augurs at most. I don't think I need to worry too much about it. Yeah, we'll play first. No, we'll keep. Yeah, you know, we'll go with pirate. We'll go with prophetic prism first. Um. I think that's a little bit better, because I want to have red mana up as soon as possible to protect my bonders ornament. I'll move that. Give it to Dacian. Pass the turn. Boreal Grazer, I'm glad you're here, bud. But I do not love you. Always yield. Draw myself a card. I don't love you either, a Boreal Grazer, number two. Yikes. Okay. And it couldn't be a land on top, an untapped source. Couldn't be that. It could not. It could never. We're going to stop on my upkeep, scry, try to find a land. Preferably bounce. Play a Boreal Grazer. Let me know. Uh, Yeah, play a Boreal Grazer. Return whatever land that we tapped for mana. And then replay whatever we bounce back to hand. I'll take it. I want that. I, I definitely want that. That sounds great. The boil grazers are not looking great. If you have exclude hanging around on top, that's going to be very annoying. I'll pass the turn. I'll crop rotation on their end step. Get get a card. Uh, I think we're going to go with Gogori Rot Farm. Oh, you prohibit me. Well, that's a shame. Okay, let's try this again. Uh, I don't want to. Oh, please be done. Yeah, of course. Well, here goes a Boreal Grazer. Saving this other crop rotation for, I guess, a frantic inventory. Or. I guess a. Oh, they have a braid. Oh, that's good. That's good. I like that. I like knowing that. Fall from favor. Listen, I know you're holding... I know you're trying to... Show me that you might have a counter spell. Or a prohibit or something. But... God, is this a tempting situation. Uh, 
don't want to introduce the monarchy unless I can hit them, I think. Listen, I'm going to play this Bonders Ornament. Tempting. Yum, yum, yum. Bonders Ornament. It resolves. Uh, oh, yeah, that's right. Uh, a braid. I was hoping that would line up better. Well, I'm I'm an idiot. I forgot about the braid. I'm just gonna leave that up there. I don't need it. Hydro Blast, your uh, second light there. I think I'm just going to go for green, play a Boreal Grazer. No lands. You fall from favor. Uh, I can Pyroblast. Or I can just better counter with my own fall from favor. Yeah. Leave on top. I don't know if they're expecting Pyroblast. I hope that they're not. They scred their own. Damn. No scry this time. Play this desert. I think I should go ahead. Okay, they don't have the snow permanence. I don't think they have a second scry, do they? All right, let's try to find out. Please work out. A little short on mana right now. Frank Tank inventory. They're looking for it. Resolves. When attack. Works out. Right to give it to I. Ooh. Reap and sow. Swirling sandstorm. I guess we go for this. Um I think I'm fine with that. I think I'm just gonna pass the turn like this. Go to draw another card. Draw turf. Okay, lands, lands of plenty. There's two frantic inventories in here. One fall from favor. It's for like sandstorm. We maybe on a on another day we would leave that on top. Pick up the desert. I think we go ahead and we crop rotation. 
How many? Okay, good. I still have all my deserts. We will probably shoot this desert down. Bog them. Because it does get us some value. Oh, crap. Wait, wait, wait. Cap this. Sacrifice this. Hold up Pyroblast. I need to switch to Red Elemental Blast because on occasion you might misclick. Um, okay, cool. This resolves. Save targets. Always yield. It's good. Two minutes. Two minutes. I also gotta make sure that I hit auto yield on this thing. Fire blast. Sweet. This. I think we might reap and sow. Uh, they've already burst a few counter spells. Uh, they probably have another one. We'll just go ahead uh, for the basic prophetic prism. Draw me a card. Scare tiller. Uh, play another scare tiller. Gotta be faster with my turns. Okay, sure. Uh, I took too long with decision making, and this is the result. <laughs> I chose this horrible fate. Oh god, this this just gets uh, a little. Where's from here? Try to bait counter spell from here. Exclude. Say all right to that one. Um, I think we just go ahead this again. Scry. I think we put this at the bottom. I think they got rid of all of their control spells. I mean, it sucks that now we might lose this thing to a scred anyway. <laughs> But they didn't clear the way for us to, uh, they did clear out a lot of counter spells. So, there's a good chance that we might reap and sow successfully. Oh, don't do that. Oh, don't do that. Well, I'm gonna go for it. Yeah! There it is. On a fan graph. I'm going to play this out uh, for as long as possible. I'm enjoying myself here. Get rid of the prophetic prism. Get rid of the... Golgari rot farm. Uh, get rid of one hydroblast. Alright, we passed the turn. Uh, I'm, I'm just going to... I'm just going to GG's. That was that was a shame. I ended up timing out. I are I uh I a bagarin. I have no idea what that word is. 
I will play it a little faster this time. Uh, I will keep this, it looks like. Moderately keepable. Bogles? Might be. The mirror. No, it keeps stuff for the moment. Except we play Prophetic Prism. Get our colors sooner so we can actually play the game. No, 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 no attacks. I never want this one to attack. It's a zero one. Until it has power, It it's very likely that I do not want to attack with it. Dark Seal Pendant. Roll Turf. Pick up this. It's unfortunate. This deck has power behind it, but I am just an awful pilot, I think. I really I really think that I'm a bad pilot. We do have protection against uh, annoying edicts. I'm guessing they're playing counter spells. So I don't want to go for it yet. Ah, uh, yeah, we'll leave you on top. I want the mana. Accumulated knowledge. All right. That's a sign of Bajuka Bog being desirable. Be creatureless. It might be creatureless. Uh, the fact that they're playing accumulated knowledge might mean that they're less likely to play four spike or more. <laughs> yeah. The this is proper. Anything could be happening. Scare tiller. Does it resolve? Uh, apparently it does. Apparently it resolves. I did not know that. I thought scare tiller gets countered. Oh no, it does. It is, but in a different way. Cast down. Uh... Okay, cool. Dark Steel Pendant. Um, I'll actually put you on top. You're a bit of ramp. Because I can tap the garden, play the grazer, play Grawl Turf, return. Ah, this is Creatureless Demir, it looks like. No overrun, unfortunately. No overruns. Bonders ornament. It sticks. Okay. That's pretty sweet. Nope. No tracks. Accumulated knowledge. That's that's bumming me out that you have card advantage. Or that you're getting card advantage over there. You uh, you have your own Bonders ornament, I see. Well, uh, we'll put you to bot. I don't want you. Well, that's what these Return to Natures are for. Bring in the Hydro Blast. 
Oh wait, what did I do that for? I I'm an idiot, right? I forgot about that. Um Now these do nothing. We'll try to go for something here. I should have done that in the main. This deck is complicated. It has a lot of bells and whistles to it. Oh. <laughs> Echoing decay. Alright. Uh, that's not the best sign. Pick up this. We'll pass the turn. It's not a great sign. Is this Chainer's Edict coming down? Black? No. Blue. Pristine Talisman. Sure. No Chainer's yet. I will put you bot. Let's cry. Um, we'll put you on bot. I was hoping for more. Uh, another action spell. Whatever. Um, play that. Protection against innocent blood, which they may or may not have. We'll get in for two. Okay, we're just gonna make progress like this. Forever. What is for three? Mystical teachings. Five. I mean four. Alright. Bajuka Bog would be great here. I would love a Bajuka Bog. Don't flash that back. What did you get? Cast down? Sure. Oh, it means they don't have a lot of cast downs left in hand. Sure. It means they didn't already have one in hand, I think. They likely wouldn't have used their tutor spell to go something to get something that they already had. Uh, put you on top. I'm tempted to just pass the turn and say go. Um, keep looking for... for a different card with uh, Dark Steel Pendant. Alright. White. I think it was just the first color on the list. They're flashing back the mystical teachings. Dang. I was hoping they didn't need it yet. They might be confused about the matchup and don't know what to grab. That may be helpful. They grab Mystical Teachings. I think they have enough some Mystical Teachings. I want to activate this Bonders Ornament bad, but I know they have a Bonders Ornament. And I see everybody now has Deserts in their deck. Right after I start uh, playing around with a lot of Deserts. Ah, oh, God. To give them a free card. No, don't give them a free card. I think I'm just going to have to be patient. Put the bot. No tax.
Uh, get rid of quicksand. Get rid of one cast down. Play rot farm. Pick up this. Uh, flashback cast down. Go looking for more cards. Uh, get rid of Arboreal Grazer again and uh, a Line of War Scout, I think. I'll get rid of the Fiery Candidate. This is better. Exclude. I see. I kind of just tempted to see what the hell they get. Exclude. Has been grabbed. Damn. That is a card. I'll put you on top. I think you're a fine card to play. I don't care about that. Why are you why are you bothering me with that? I'll have to shut up the notica notifications for that. Alright, bog you. Uh get a nice three for one. Oh, they're gonna cast uh mystical teachings out of there. Alright. Sure. Um the reason why I say it's a three for one is because the next accumulated knowledges are going to be a lot worse and get less cards. I think uh, cutting the next two out, this is two. And then actually, no, it would be like a five for one if they hadn't cast uh, mystical teachings and this game goes very long. They could very likely play the other accumulated knowledges. All right, counter spell. I see all of the action in hand. This is a capsize or Evan Carr's Justice deck. I think it's. Wait. Oh, Pristine Talisons are from New Phyrexia, apparently. I thought they were from Mirrodin. Neato. I'm tempted to use Bonner's Ornament to start making us both draw cards. Because if. If they don't have a way to shuffle them back in. Mm. Just wait. Full on cards. Crop rotation, sweet. They discard one island, another island. Okay. Super. Uh, we'll go draw. Reap and sow is here. Colony Heart Garden. He's a card. This might get counterspelled. I believe it will. Yeah, I could have gone for Demir Aqueduct. Really slowed them down a bit. But I know they're gonna counter it anyway. Counterspell. Sure. Uh, exclude is there. Okay, cool. I might win the game by just simply making them draw out. Accumulated knowledge. <laughs> You're welcome. Ah, <laughs> uh, yep. They get to draw two cards less there. If they find the other one, that is another 
two cards less that they get to have on me. Uh, but casual Bajuka Bog really ruins those things. If you're ever playing black, just remember, if your swamps don't always have to be swamps, Bog is pretty good. Especially with any bounce land. Alright. Seven, right? Evan Carr's Justice. Okay, Evan Carr's Justice. Sure. Do this... Okay, this didn't actually put a stop here. It's annoying. Let's go draw some cards. You may go to discard. They discard Bonner's Ornament. Super. Uh, we'll... Cast this. Fall from favorite. Put on top. Ooh, an elaborate, elaborate scheme. To... I, uh, I'm gonna play that. Put this back. I'm going to... Probably play a Scare Tiller here. Try and protect it with crop rotation. Okay, so they let that resolve. That means they have they're planning to kill it with removal. Fall from favor. Counter spell. Damn. I was hoping that they were just going to cast it down instead and I could protect it, but, uh, didn't work out. Well, goodbye, Scare Tiller. I'm so sorry. We might still do it. We might still do it. Uh, sacrifice that. Actually, we could go for the uh, the survivor's encampment. Forget the step. Go for the encampment. Uh, yeah, that'll work. We'll get back. Cave of Temptation. Oh, and then... Uh, One scare tiller and the two scare tillers in the yard. Yikes. Uh I'll still do it. I'll still do it. I'm a sucker for gambling. And I'm a punish I get punished for gambling. Bog. Casual bog ruining graveyard strategies. Karma. Hello. Should have left Haunted Fengraft, shouldn't I? Play Garden. Exclude. We might grab Weather the Storm, because that might actually be really good in this matchup. Okay. 
Heaven Coast Justice. Keep that on top. I uh, put you on bottom. Fire candidate. <laughs> You're just terrible. Uh, we'll go to Entwine again. Spend all this mana. Oh, destroy. I guess that. Or actually, we should have chosen Bog. Yeah, we should have chosen Bog. They're probably playing, probably playing four Demir Aqueducts. And this is just not great. Devious cover up, counter spell, counter spell, cast down. Okay. Sure. Evan Cars Justice. I might just try my best to make them mill out. I think that might be the actual choice. Because there's a small chance that they might actually just mill out. But you bought. Chainer's Edict. You do nothing. Yay. Yikes. Um, prophetic Prism? Pick up Bog. Devious cover-up is there. Okay, sweet. We can hit it again. stop the devious cover-up combo to keep themselves from milling out and hit one accumulated knowledge ruin the other one uh, okay I think I'm going to put you to the bottom. I put you to the bottom, right? Yeah, alright. Well, it's still there. Wait, doesn't this check mark mean it yields until here? So, what is. Alright, sure, whatever. I, I guess the zero doesn't work anymore. I'm just not even gonna put a password to just get rid of it because it annoyed one of the employees. <laughs> just somebody who's like, ah, oh, damn, I hate it. I keep accidentally going through my entire turn <laughs> or my opponent's turn. Just, ah, oh, get rid of it. Okay, one voracious typhon. 
is a card. It's a 4 4. And it got countered. That is fine. Uh, we'll go ahead and do this preemptively. Save time on their turn. Uh, we'll put you to bottom. I don't want to mill out. We both draw cards. They pick up Bog. Yeah, I thought I pressed six. Bog. Evan Cards Justice. Uh, I think they can do it again. I think these creatureless matchups matchups are actually really rough. Crypt Incursion. All right. Yeah, these creatureless matchups are very rough on us. Um, we are planning very much for a creature-based matchup. Uh, I think it's just good to concede from here. Uh, let's see if I get anything else. Put the bottom. Dark Steel Pendant. Tap it. Use it. Let's see what we get. Uh, no thanks. We're just gonna draw some cards here. Actually, wait. Uh, I'll just pass turn. Uh, I'll make them. Now that they have seven cards in hand, I'll try to make them draw on their turn. All right. So return to nature. Weather the storm. Four pyroblast. And out comes all of my creature removal. Oh, and in comes a rain shaper. It seems better. Press six. Right, I'm just going to concede from here. Alright, nine cards are coming in. I have to cut these I have to cut nine cards. Uh just all the creature removal in the world. Run it back. I hope I, I hope I win one game with this deck on the final day of 30 Days of Lands. Just one game. Oh boy. They're probably going to have a, a little bit more difficulty sideboarding. Because they have no idea what the hell is going on. <laughs> They're just seeing a bunch of value stuff. Uh, they know that it's jank, though. They're very certain about that. Oh, weird line. But sure. Um, not sure if I want a second Darksteel Pendant. I... I'm considering adding another fall from favor here. Overs Bonders ornament. This deck might just become uh, a little bit more Simic. I might change these to Simic Growth Chambers and change out the cast downs uh, for maybe some counter spells or something. Or the Reap and Sows, potentially, because in the counter spell matchups, the Reap and Sows are really bad. They are very rough if they are playing uh, spell removal. Same thing with the crop rotation. We want to cast the Reap and Sow for as much as possible. It's very tight sometimes. Uh, 
I would love to play first. Yes. Icy cards that I need, I'll keep. I'll go for Telling Your Heart Garden. Okay, you know what? I think I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to cut the Faithless Lootings. I'm going to... I'm going to cut the... Um, cut two Chainers. Or actually cut one Chainers, one Cast Down. Cut the Reap and Sows. Go up... Some creature removal. Okay, we might have actually time to uh, play Fall from Favor on this. Provided we get the source that we need. That's what I'm hoping for. We might not. But we might. Which would be sweet. Island. Sure. Would you like to cantrip? Scout. Then we're scout. It might be the ramp spell that I'm looking for. Cave of Temptation would be nice. Off the top. I would... Bonders Ornament is also nice. Uh, Bonders Ornament is very nice. Uh, hopefully they don't have second counterspell. Oh, God. Second counterspell in hand. Of course you do. Oh, I think they kept a two lander by mistake. And <laughs> no cantrips in the deck, as we've seen. So... It's just kind of a staring contest at this point. We're going to see who does something first. God, do I really hope for color source. Uh, accumulated knowledge. Sure. That sucks. Oh, God, if we had a faster start, that would have been amazing. But all right. There it is. My window cave. Make yourself known. If you are with us, Cave of Temptation, make your presence known. Ah, damn it. <laughs> ah. Oh, you're killing me. I am short on lands, and this is <laughs> and you're doing this to me in my lands deck. Exclude? Yep, exclude. I oh, mean, if that bonders ornament had resolved, that sucks. You play your own bonders ornament in my face. Just showing me that you have it. They still have two blue mana up. Ouch. Well, Golgari Bot Farm. We can probably play. We get to play. Uh, any of these? I think we go for Golgari Bot Farm. Return a desert to hand because it's on a. It's untapped. Uh, get rid of Faith of Sooting, because there's nothing we want to get rid of right now. Yeah, cut one Faith of Sooting for another Fall from Favor and some counter spells. That might make this deck a bit better.
could just uh, pass the turn. Yeesh. Rubbing it in my face that you have a Bonner's ornament and I don't. Harsh. Very harsh. Alright. They gotta play some cards. Or not. Bonder's ornament. Tap up for two pristine talismans, please. Lana War Scout. Oh, let's see how this goes. Exclude again. Oh, this is just a rough match. I am not prepared to deal with the creature list deck and a slow start. This game is pretty much over. Unfortunately, I have to watch them. All right, we'll uh, play Gargar Bot Farm. Return Desert. Try to play Scare Tiller. All right, Scare Tiller resolves. Sweet. No. Scroll turf. Uh let's we'll play desert for now. Pass the turn. Excluding. I'm thinking that storm count more than uh two. Weather Storm might be worthwhile to just to cast. They might not have enough time to build up the life total to get out from under Weather the Storm. Yeah, so I can win with Weather the Storm, actually. If they build up a storm count of like three, uh, it's unlikely, given that they're a, a land a draw go deck. Gurmag Angular. Oh, okay. One Gurmag. What do you discard? Blue Elemental Blast to fight my Hydro Blast. Okay. Bonder's Ornament. I have no way to fight this. But I desperately need something. I might let it resolve. <laughs> no more free cards for them. They have to give me the cards. Devious cover up. God damn. 
If I play Gogori, if I uh play the Weather of the Storms now, I get nine life, twelve life. Ah, oh, that's that is not a lot. That's not a great amount. Ah, uh, I'll go for it. There you go. And we have blockers for two turns. Unless they decide to cast down. Two bonders ornaments. Evan Cards Justice with flashback. I mean with buyback. All right. Pristine Talisman. No Pristine Talisman. It's one fall for me. God, it has been staring at me for a minute. Oh boy. Um... I'll play one scare tiller. I'll play one scare tiller. With one pyroblast up. And they counter. I think go for Game of Cards Justice again. I can try playing the Underworld Rage Hound, pressuring them back. But oh god, are they ahead on cards? And I do not have my fixing. Actually, I should have started with Underworld Rage Hound. Mystical teachings. They grab cast down, crypt incursion. Oh no, that does shut me down pretty hard. Cast down. Oh, that really shuts me down. That is very bad for me. Oh, my opening hand looked good. Um, it's a shame. They can use Evan Card Justice again, get me down to 20, and then have a three-turn clock. Actually, yeah, three-turn clock to kill me. Or a two-turn clock. Girl turf. Um... All right, that's it. That's about it. That's enough for me. That might time out, but well, it, it uh, once they started playing that other Gourmet Gangler, that really got me. I'll cut these Faithless Lootings. They're there to get rid of some of the dead draws, uh, like the Arboreal Grazers later. But I think I'm actually kind of fine with some of these Arboreal Grazers. I'll cut these Reap and Sows from the main. I'll cut the one Fiery Cannonade. We can instead add one more fall for favor. Cut down one cast down. Add one uh, set, of, set of counter spells or prohibits. Actually, I have to spell just prohibit. Uh, this search system does not understand plural. Or misspellings. 
put four into the deck, we'll end up getting rid of one card from here. Uh, the Hydroblast? I think getting rid of the Hydroblast is fine. And this should be a little bit smoother. Uh, we'll also cut down on a few of these. Because we now only have four red cards in the deck. I think it's much more appropriate to cut these and go Simic Growth Chambers. Four of them. These four to the deck. Now we still have our eight bounce lands, but now we have a few more blue sources. And we can actually go for uh some we can actually go for like having uh is it we can grab an is it guild uh and is it what is it what is the is it bounce land what is it is it boiler works right of which i have four in <laughs> in mismatching uh symbols right we can actually probably go for just a mirror instead but i think the green in the early game is a little bit more important yeah, we'll just keep it around like this. We have a density of green spells that is higher than our density of red spells or blue spells. Or our black spells. So this is a little nicer than, uh, yeah. I think this is definitely better. And then, uh, yeah, that'll work out. Because that way, now this is a little bit more proportional. This All of this applies here. And this all... Yeah, that's a, that's a lot more proportional, I think. Unless we have uh, more multicolor lands. And uh, prophetic prisms and bonders ornaments. We might actually cut a dark steel pendant for a bonders ornament. Potentially, maybe. Just a big old maybe. This deck really could use a multicolor land or a man land of some kind. And that would uh change the lands up a lot. A lot of people said, oh man, I wish there was a man land in Popper. And there kind of is. It's a, it's a little different than what you're thinking. It is. It's the it's a card from Almond Cat block. It is likely Oh, hold on. I have to sort these based on converted mana cost, don't I? Oh, yeah. Cradle of the Curse. There it is. It technically makes a 2-2 black zombie creature token, but you only can activate it when whenever you can cast a sorcery, and it costs technically four mana, and you have to sacrifice land, because by tapping this to create the token instead of tapping it for mana, you're forgoing and giving up this mana. You're is essentially uh, an opportunity cost of four mana and a land for a 2-2 Black Zombie. You're giving up a whole card for this token. If it was something like, you know, uh, meet in certain condition, make a 4-4 Red Dwarf token, or a 3-3 First Strike Dwarf, ooh, sounds good, or make a bunch of food tokens or something, or, uh, you know, had a little bit more oomph to it, where you could actually say, yeah, this is a... Uh, it's like a big creature. This is our Dark Depths or something, but it requires a bunch of very specific conditions. That would be way more in line with what could go in, go on in Popper. And it would be uncounterable because it's an ability. So super difficult to deal with. Super fun. I, I do like this archetype and I love these decks. And apparently other people do too. They like brewing around these. And this is pretty dope. <laughs> I, I just wish I could make a, a better deck. Uh, and actually win a few games. Uh, I even have difficulty against some of the jank decks with this, unfortunately. Unless I'm all out aggro, it seems rather rather tough. There are there are certain matchups where I think this deck might be a little bit better. I think some of them would be more creature based matchups. Um, that have to be aggro decks, and maybe that would be better. These prohibits will probably make the spell fights a lot easier. Having prohibits in the main and Pyroblast on the side will help our matchup against control. I'm guessing these Pyroblasts will also help against some of the uh, 
some of the decks that are like stompy. I just hope that we can still cannonade on time. It's a little difficult. We might want a a lens. I forget what it's called. Uh, you gain three life when it enters the battlefield. Um, it should help. They're down to a very... Yeah, Navigator's Compass. My mistake. Adding one Navigator's Compass as a catch-up mechanic and gain three life, you know, tap, get to get a color that we might need desperately in exchange for getting rid of some of this other stuff. Could be very possible. Uh, there, there's I could do a whole nother month just looking on combinations, looking into combinations for this deck. So instead of that, I'm gonna, I'm gonna let this settle down for now. Maybe we'll pick it up next year. Thank you everyone for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope you enjoy the upcoming videos for the content creators tournament. Um, all of them, all of the people involved are likely posting videos of their matchups, and I will be making a highlight reel of all of their matchups of some of the best plays uh just some good like just some nice content of just like some sweet plays some sweet decks uh see some interesting stuff going on so far some of the matchups are already underway and people are playing and enjoying themselves hopefully it continues like this for a while uh, until everybody's done it's a round robin system so there's a lot more games uh and i felt like this is a better idea uh than the previous matchup system because it seemed uh, a little confusing to some people when I told them they could play them in any order. And they, some of them seemed to procrastinate. When I just said, when I say, like, play all of these people, I think that might be a little... It might encourage people to be a little bit less uh, of a procrastinator. <laughs> which might be a little bit faster for making these games uh, play out. And get them all done on time. So, thank you for watching, everybody. I guess uh, coming in for the face touch, and uh, I'll see you maybe in a week.